Hello, everyone. Realtor Mike Thomas here talking to you, to you today about a very important subject that everybody wants to know. How do you make a million dollars in real estate? Well, I'm going to go over everything with you, and it's going to be really simple and easy. And after seeing this whole video, you're going to go, wow, it's really that easy. So stay tuned for the entire video as I plan to give you the secrets that uh, most people will not give you. Uh, and that's how to make a million dollars in real estate. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, you have to understand a couple of things. Uh, one thing is buying and selling houses is very important, but you're not going to buy or sell any houses. You're going to just live in one. So here is what I would like for you to do. And I'm sure you've probably seen some of my other videos on um, how to, you know, get equity fast in a home or uh, some of the other videos that I have posted. But this is super easy, super simple, and I'm just going to make it straight for you. You gotta live somewhere. So here is what I want you to do. First of all, go buy a house. When you buy a house, I want you to get a good price on it. Obviously, right? Everybody wants a good price on a house. So don't go for the most expensive house, the one that's on top of the market. Maybe one that needs a little bit of fixing up, uh, you know, kind of a little fixer upper, not something that's too bad, but something that has good bones, but kind of needs some cosmetic works and you can get it at a good price. So shop around, get a good price on a house. Then what I want you to do, to do is live in it for two years. OK, um, two years, live in the house for two years. And while you're living there, fix it up. You know, put in some new flooring, uh, put in a new kitchen, and uh, do all of those neat little things to fix up a house and make it your own. And, you know, you've got two years to do it, so um, go ahead and do that. Now, at the end of the two years, um, the, the third step I need you to do is make sure you have that home homesteaded as soon as you close on the house. So as soon as you close on the house, I want you to homestead that property, make it your primary residence uh, because you have to live in it for two years, have it homesteaded for two years. And after two years, you pay no capital gains tax. What does that mean? When you sell a property, as a single person, you're going to get $250,000 that you don't have to pay money on. So the first $250,000, you don't have to pay any capital gains tax on. Anything over that uh, is, I think, at a, I don't know, I think a 15%. You'd have to check with your tax accountant because uh, sometimes it varies from state to state, uh, county to county. So you buy a place, you make it your homestead, you get it at a good price, you fix it up, and after two years, you sell it and you can make a $250,000 profit. Wow, that's $125,000 a year profit, okay? If you're married, you actually get $500,000 of capital gain exemption. So the first $500,000 is um, tax-free. Anything over that, you're gonna be paying capital gains tax on. But you have to own the property for at least two years and it has to be your primary residence. So if you move every two years and you are a married couple, in four years, you will have a million dollars in cash sitting in your bank. Pretty easy, isn't it? And it's that simple. Now there is a other few ways of maximizing uh, that because sometimes people come to me and say, well, Mike, what happens if my property doesn't appreciate uh, that much in two years? That's a lot of money to appreciate in two years. You are absolutely right. It is a lot of money to appreciate in two years. So what I want you to do is, first of all, I want you to look in an area that has high and quick appreciation. The other thing you may want to consider is building a home. Because if you buy a lot, get a construction loan, put a house on that lot, 
uh, your appreciation is going to be much higher than if you already buy a lot. Generally, it is going to be much higher than if you already bought a house that's already done and everything else. So um, what happens then? So you buy a lot, you build a house on it, you live in, in it for two years. And after two years, you should have a pretty sizable chunk of money. If you were to sell that house after two years, you can pull whatever equity out of it up to $500,000 for a married couple and $250,000 for a single person. Now, I did talk to some people out there and um, they were telling me that it doesn't have to be a married couple. What if it's a, you know, uh, a mother and son? or a, you know, father and son, they each get $250,000 to write off on their taxes or keep as their own. So not necessarily a married couple, but I'm a pretty sure, and you would have to check with your tax accountant on this as well, as far as it being a uh, family-related person. Uh, I think it has to be immediate family. It can't be, you know, second cousin twice removed. Um, but that would be a tax issue for a tax professional. Ask your tax accountant and say, listen, if I bought a home with my brother or second cousin or whoever, you know, would I be able and bought a home, kept it for two years and then sold it? Uh, would we get the 500,000 deduction or would it be 250, 250? I think if you file your, your taxes together, as a joint, um, you know, partnership, then I do believe that it is 500,000. But remember, uh, I'm not a tax accountant. I don't give tax advice. So please check with your tax advisor on that. Any uh, person from, you know, uh, tax accountant could tell you that. But this is a way that you can make a lot of money in a short period of time. Does it require you to, to have to move every two years? The answer is, yeah, it, it does. If you want to take the money out, put it in the bank, go buy another house, do the same thing again. And whether you're buying it or building it, um, you know, this is not a quick, rich scheme to, you know, make a million dollars in, you know, um, a short few short months. Um, this requires you to live in it. But the beautiful thing about living in a home is you get to enjoy it. You have to live somewhere. So why not live somewhere that you're going to get some money out of it? And if you can bank a million dollars, uh, more power to you. So if you like this video, please leave a comment. Um, give us a like. If you love our videos, we uh, always love to, uh, you know, get your comments and, and likes. And please click the notification bell and the subscribe button uh, to let you know when other uh, important videos like this are coming out. Um, thanks again. Have a wonderful day.